I built an AI agent that controls my local browser on my computer where I'm logged into accounts, navigates a complex website, and orders me pizza. The reason that this is an agent and not just a workflow automation is because I only gave the agent two things. Number one, a high-level goal, and number two, a set of tools. Literally only told it, go to this DoorDash URL and order me a cheese pizza, and it was able to navigate DoorDash's website, which is pretty complex, lots of images, text, things to click on. The AI agent thought through its plan, it took action, and then it reflected on the results of its actions. Hey, here's a cheese pizza. Okay, I'm gonna add it to the cart. It ran into a challenge. The store was closed, not open till later, but it decided to schedule the delivery for later. My prompt was literally one sentence. And that's ultimately the power and the promise of AI agents, the ability to figure these things out without having to hard code specifically what should happen in each scenario. For example, if you were to build this in a workflow automation, you would have to handle that edge case where the restaurant is closed and you would need to schedule the delivery for later. You would have to hard code that logic into your workflow automation. Whereas here, my AI agent was able to analyze what's on the screen and figure out what to do next. That ability to dynamically plan in real time and respond to the data it's receiving, like, oh, hey, it says the store is closed. That's what really differentiates an agent from a workflow automation.